Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Oceana Entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Um, I am back with another unboxing video. Wait, I'm not back with another unboxing video. I actually went shopping! And look what I got. You won't even believe. This is why I don't like going shopping because when I go and I come back, I'm spending a lot of money and I really don't want to do that. That's why I rather keep buying from online because I stay in budget and I don't spend too much. So you must be thinking what I bought and you can see the name also, right? And what's in here? I'll get to that in, in a little bit. Okay, so let's put this aside. We'll go on to this a little bit later because a lot of stuff is in there uh, we'll go over what's in this bag okay so as you can see by the name it's Armani so let me tell you something it's not how you call Giorgio Armani okay that's the Western style we say it like that but it's actually pronounced Giorgio Armani okay make sure that R, okay Giorgio Armani all right so next time if someone tells you what did you get don't forget to say Giorgio Armani all right <laughs> okay so I got the new fragrance the new C range okay the C range has I think there's three different flavors but this is the newest one so I'm gonna show you how it looks I'll tell you how it smells and I'll let you know if you should buy it or not, okay? All right, let's unbox this, you know? You know, I'm back to my old habits. Unbox, unbox, unbox. Even though this is not unboxing, I bought it myself. But since it's nicely wrapped or it boxed, and I'm opening this up in front of you guys, that's why I said, let's unbox this. Okay, cut the talking, cut the talking. Let's get into this. This is a 3.4 fluid ounce and um, it is a Yo de Parfum and not Yo de Toilet. The difference is the toilet spray is um, lighter than the Parfum. The Parfum is much more stronger and much more expensive. And let me tell you something about expensive. Perfumes are so expensive right now. Oh my God, perfume and gas price are outrageous. Okay, you love them, you need them, but you can't afford them. This is ridiculous. Anyway, it's a good thing that they give you a travel size. Well, it's an okay deal, let me put it this way. And this one, I got another flavor, not the same one, which is even better. But, and it's perfume, not a you de toilet. Remember, remember the accent, you know? Okay, so I'm taking out of the box. This is how the perfume looks like. And it smelled so good. I'm telling you, it smells so good. Oh yes. And my perfumes, this is how I choose my perfumes. I like flowery smell, not flowery, but rosy smell. So all my perfumes have rosy touch to it. I don't like anything stronger than that. I don't like anything sweeter than that. The rosy touch is perfect. It's romantic, it's sexy, it's attractive, and oh my God, it'll smell so good. I'm not sure if this one has a rose touch to it. When I went there and I asked for a rose touch to it, they gave me this, and this was the new one. The first one, is the just the regular this one is called passion and whenever you hear the word passion it has to have some kind of flower or rose touch to it okay i'll show you my other perfumes and these are the one that definitely has a rose touch voila so these are my perfume collections and i'm so excited to share with you because if you haven't tried a smell with the rose touch in it here it is 
Okay, let's go over with my perfumes, okay? So this is Romance. This one has a really nice rosy, flowery smell to this. This is my first ever perfume. Well, not this bottle, okay? I think a lot of people should know Romance. Romance has been out for long, very long time. Now they have a giant bottle. Look, this is all empty. Um, this is an all-time hit. It's been marketed for a long time and you can never beat this smell. This smell will always be in my closet. You can get a big size. The price is still expensive. It's not cheap even though it's been out for a while. The demand is so high that it's not cheap. It's still expensive to get. And I will of course refill this and get another one. Let's move on to my... Oh, and the smell. It has a flowery smell. It has a rosy smell. This is perfect. This is beautiful attractive and it's romance and it's from ralph lauren okay well, let's move on to my second perfume which is called chloe and this one has different range different flavors but oh ask for the one that has rose in it this one has i think three different flavor of rose this smells beautiful so when you wear chloe and you walk by someone that person will definitely stop and ask you, what do you have on? You know, I get that every time I have this perfume on. So how did I hear about Chloe? Now, let me tell you this. One of my cousins came from Canada to visit me and she was smelling Chloe the entire week she was with us. She smelled so good. Then I asked her like, what are you wearing? And she took it out of her purse and she went like this. So from then, this is my topper in my closet, Chloe. I'm not sure the exact name of the flavor, but if you ask uh, one with the three rose um, touch, that's the one you are gonna get if you want the rosy touch to it. It has three different range, like I mentioned in the beginning, but I like the one with the rose touch. It's so pretty and I am hooked onto this since then. And if you're watching my video, you know who it is, right? I'm not gonna mention your name, but thank you so much. This has been the topper in my closet. All right, let's move on to my third perfume. I have so many, I lose count. Okay, this is even more beautiful. This is called Mon Paris, and Mon Paris is from Yves Saint Laurent. Yeah, it's so many, you know? Why couldn't perfume be easy names, you know? It just, Mon Paris, blah, blah, blah. It's so complicated to pronounce the names. Why not like rose, daisy, lily, orange, apples? Why not like that, Mon Paris? It just, you start stuttering when you try to say the names. Even if you go to Macy's and you say, can you give me, like at the beginning when I went to get this, I said, can you give me Mon Paris? And the woman's like, it's not Mon Paris, ma'am. It's Mon Paris. Okay, so can you give me Mon Paris? You got the point, right? I want that smell. Can you give me that smell? Like, who cares about the accent, lady? I'm gonna pay this much money to get a perfume. Just give me my perfume and let me get out of here. Hush, okay? It's not about the accent. Now, if you tell me to pronounce this name, I might just go with the easy one. That's called romance, right? And then it's let's cheaper than this and I'll walk out with that, you know? So you couldn't want that. Just give me my perfume. Mon Paris, Mon Paris, Mon Paris. Okay, but this smells, coming back to the smell, it's very nice. It has a rose touch and a woody touch, you know, a combination, which is very pretty. And it's very, 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 very expensive. I'll put all the prices in the description box, okay? When you add the total, you'll be like, is she crazy or something? all this money behind perfumes i don't think so stick with one right i am crazy about fragrance you know i love them i love to smell good and when you feel good about yourself you feel good about everything okay so this one is called rose again a rose touch to it and it's from dolce gabbana um i tried their other range um they had the one then they had, anyway, I don't remember. Use different smells as well. The stronger ones, even the woody ones and the flower ones and the fruit ones. But the best one I like is the one that has 
rose touch to all of them okay it's very nice you're not smelling fruit you're not smelling too flowery you're not smelling too strong you're not smelling too musky you're smelling right when you put any fragrance that has a rose touch to it okay and last but not least is the one that i got c and this one also has a rose smell the first range uh, of the c has a flowery smell but it also very strong it doesn't have a rosy smell a rose rose touch but it is flower mixed with wood and something it's very strong but anyway this is a travel size i didn't choose this this one just came as a gift to this perfume okay so right now these are my collection in my closet my fragrance collection i also had different ones like calvin klein euphoria um i had um Armani code. I had um, I had so many, you know, Prada. I had um, Gucci, Tommy Girl, Juicy Couture. Um, what else? I mean, you name it. I used it, you know. But I am sticking to my rose collections. I love it. I'll stick to this. So people around me gives me so much compliments with these smells that i don't even want to go back to any stronger or lighter smell i want to stick to this for now okay anyway um i took a lot of time going over my perfume my fragrance collections so you might be waiting for my mac bag so i'm sure you're thinking she didn't even go over her mac bag where is her mac bag whoa where is my mac bag oh here it is okay so please look out for my next video where I'm gonna take everything out of this bag. I'll show it to you. I'll put it on and you'll see what I have in there. There were some promotions going on at Macy's for Mac and I got some of those too. Some goodies, some good stuff in here. Really good stuff. So if you want to watch uh, what's in here, please look out for my next video. But this has to be done in the next video because I will do it up front with you. I'll swatch it, I'll put it on, I'll show you what I got. And that way you know what to buy, what to get, what to expect, okay? And how much it is, okay? Everything, every good stuff, it's gonna be in the next video. Please look out for it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. And till then, you guys have a great night, somewhere a great morning, somewhere a great afternoon. But be safe and be careful and be happy. Okay? Bye. Signing off.